Blackburn Rovers were once an established, title-winning Premier League club. But oh, how times have changed. Ever since this chap and this sleazy entourage got their grubby little fingers into the inner workings of my club, we have fallen so far from returning to the top of the English game. Many managers have come and gone. Some liked, some hated. Until Tony, who had a dream to build his own football team. Now Rovers have turned a massive corner and after a season in the third tier, we have bounced back to the championship. Now together, we need to make this final step and try to return to the holy grail of English football, the Premier League. Join me in this journey via FIFA 19. Well, folks, we're going to get another FIFA 19 career mode episode with Blackburn Rovers, and it is the start of a brand new season. So what does that mean? Transfer update. That's right. We have been busy over the preseason, bringing in some boys, getting rid of some boys. And if you look at the screen right here right now, you could have just caught a glimpse of one of my big, big money moves. Now, I was hoping that we could make some mega million pound moves. But really, we didn't get about that much money, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's have a look at the current state of play of our finances. We now have uh, £19 million pound left uh, for any additional transfers that we can make in the last sort of couple of weeks, I think, before the transfer window opens with a wage budget of eighty-five grand. Now, we have bought in some big names. Well, we, we, we bought in some additions, should I say. I'm going to do that now. That's why this episode is only going to be a one-game episode because it'll bring you up to speed with the transfers. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. We'll actually go through the squad hub and have a look at what we've got going on. So this is the new look Blackburn Rovers. Obviously still got David Raya. A few, few teams came in for a bid for Raya over the close season, but unfortunately he ain't, he, well, fortunately for us, he ain't going anywhere. Uh, Peterson is one of my youth products. is coming through, looking good at the minute. 66 overall rating. Um, and uh, Greco is also competing for a possible push for reserve keeper. Then we have Nyambe still at right back. We brought in this fella, Luis Uru Giliela, a Colombian, can play on the right back or left back. Overall, a rating of 72, paid around about one point something. And I will have a look at the money in a minute. So he is now my new uh, backup right back, He's competing with Nyambe, who's, who's still there and 23 years old. Uh, we have Luis coming through as well. He's been there a little bit. Uh, Digi still remains. A few bids have come in for him as well. Uh, one from Burnley, ain't happening folks, Lennon as well, Bauer, those are my three centre-backs, we've lost Elliot, um, who else was there, Wharton's also gone, so we might look to pick up another centre-back, Brandon Davis come through the youth setup. Williams is also still there at left-back, McCutcheon is on loan at Sheffield United, one of my youth products coming through, he's actually developing nice, quite nicely, 63 average range, so Hopefully next season he could be the man to push Amari Bell and uh, Williams. So yeah, another that's another area of concern is left back. I might look to to dip in as well to try and get one of those. But like I said, Urugiela can play on that uh, left hand side as well. So we brought in also Ivan Dalisco. I picked him up on a uh, uh, what is it contract expiry freebie, not too shabby as well. Seventy four average rating. Um, he's going to compete in the basically for Barman's role, Evans's role, who's on the who's on the wane into his last year now. I don't know if he's going to get a new deal. Not too thinks, not too not too uh, hopeful on that. Uh, Learn it, boom, still here as one of my youth products. Has been here a while. He's not really making too much progress, so he could be out the door. In fact, he could be going out on loan. Guzman as well. We as uh, one of our loanees has actually gone out to wherever that team is. Not too sh not too sure who that is. Bennett's still there, right at right midfield. I don't think he's going to much game time if we are completely honest this season kind of have improved the right hand side of midfield so he probably is on the, on his way out if if we're if we're honest um benjamin horn uh, another one of my german youngsters coming through he's there we've got this guy james forrest picked him up on a freebie as well he wasn't a celtic he was in probably argentina i think i picked him up okay who else we got we've got cox still here he's another uh lonely uh, we brought in this guy jota from a uh, portuguese club we paid a bit of money for him about six million perhaps it was a release fee Again, him and uh, Ingman Delisco probably competing for those midfield slots if we're going to be more defensive this season. Uh, Barman's still here. 
into us last year. Are we going to improve it? I don't know. Olbrecht is probably one of my... Uh, uh, is he one of my hot prospects? Not really. A German youngster coming through as well, looking to go out alone. Armstrong, a few few teams have come in for him as well, but I'm trying to resist. He's also in his final year. Uh, Takuma Asano, we brought him in. He's also could play on the right side of midfield, but also on the left side and also up top. Uh, good, good pickup. Free transfer as well. Probably need to improve that contract as well. Goudi is one of my hot prospect youngsters. Italian guy coming through now. Starting to see really good players coming through the youth system. Uh, Russo as well, just because he's moaning. Um, Freeman still here, doing good. Uh, Madsen as well, both of those into the sort of late late twenties now, and also Bradley Dak as well, also into two years. Mohamed still in the books for the time being. Solanke, the main man, still up top, valued at fifteen million pounds. And we also brought in Neil Malpe or whatever, how else, however you say it. I think we paid. Uh, around about nine million for for Malpe. We needed another striker. Graham's gone. Brewster's gone. Um, so we only had Solanke and Siahus. Uh Gross is one of my hot prospects as well. 68 over, overall average rate in German left-sided winger coming through the system, as well as Christopher Ancuna, but he's not as good as Gross. And Smith Rowe's still here, and I just realized he can play on the left side and the right-hand side, so we will see how that goes, and we also need to improve his contract. And Leslie Kowazowicz has gone on loan. So that is the current state of play for Rovers, um, what it looks like. Uh, let's have a look at the transfer history. We'll have a look at uh, who went where. Davenport has gone to Internacional for two million. Uh, McCutcheon's gone to Sheffield United, we talked about that. Oh, Brighton's gone for four million to Bruges. Like I said in the previous episodes, we, dude had, we did have a lot of left-sided midfielders, so I had to cut some of my losses on some of them. Um, Al Brighton was one of them, just because he didn't have the pace. I'm a, I'm a guy who likes pace, but also skill. Armstrong's probably the best that we have on the books, but now we've got this, this Japanese fellow as well. Um, Guzman has gone to Defensor on loan. Origiella came in with three million. We paid three million. Is that about right? Maybe, maybe that's about right. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously because it says it right there. Jack Elliott went to Internacional. We sold him for one point nine million. He wasn't getting any game time. Uh, Malpe has gone to us. We paid nine point two, and we give him uh, our backup goalkeeper because we had some good guys come through. Jota we came for five point seven million. We made the release clause from Fouchal. and uh, that is all that is listed there. But also, we also lost last season. I don't know why. Um, we can't see, you know, the uh, the free transfers from uh, from last season, but we we got rid of Chapman or some other players as well. But that is the makeup of the team right here, right now. Um, new, no, we don't want to exit it. Um, we are going to get ready for the first game of the season. Where it is, obviously, it doesn't get doesn't get much harder than this, really. Up against Arsenal away, so. Have we improved? We'll have to find out and wait and see. I uh, actually just need to change the default team here. We're going to do that right here, right now. So we're going to have Solanke is going to be my main man up top. Asano, Dak, Forrest. Uh, we're going to go with the, the... In fact, we're going to get rid of Barman for the time being. We're going to bring in Jodder. Um, and that's probably the starting 11. And we need to get a striker, perhaps, on the on the bench. Where is he? See who's... Is, is Malpe on the bench as well? That'll do. That'll do for now. We'll, we'll save Malpe's debut for uh, for the next episode, I think. We're just trying to ease some of the guys in. It is a, a tough one. We are playing at world class. Just remember that. Um, so we're going to try and play the whole season world class. And even if I am doing amazing, which I probably won't, um, don't say that I should go up a level because I know right now, right here, right now, this is going to be hard work. Okay, folks, here we are at Arsenal's venue. That is right. For the start of a brand new season. World class. Uh, now, our rate, our sort of um, sort of performances were world class. We're a little up and down. So we picked up some good results. We also played some terrible results. So, I'm expecting to get beat my first season, if I am completely honest. But I'd love, I'd love an opening day victory against one of the big boys. Um, so we'll see how we get on and right now Arsenal probing and they nearly score the first attacking uh, bit of possession of the season but we uh, kept them out corner already played short silky skills headed clear get rid of it and we cannot get rid of it Still, scrappy better play there. Now Raya has to punch it clear. 
How much did we get it for Asano? Who brings in Daxter? Here's Asano. And Digi. Nice interchange in Vandalisco. Picks out Nyambe. Whips across in. No one's home. Have a shot, son. Just make him work. Leno is worked. And we do have a little bit of uh, creativity and pace down that right-hand side for a change. Because Bennett was, was, you know, I'm not digging Bennett because Bennett has been immense for us. Um, just, he was season on season, my main man on the right-hand side. Here we go now with Daxter. Solanke loses it. So far. Just got to keep them at bay. You know, our, our defense was probably our best um, attribute, I guess, last season. We'll see we were the best defensive team out there, but uh, we kept people at bay. We won't get, we won't get thumped too bad. Right now, they're teasing. And that'll go out for a corner again. It's all Arsenal at the moment. 20 minutes gone. Nothing... Nothing to get excited about for a Rover's point of view. Headed towards Goan Raya will take his time. You know, and it looks like, I'm afraid, folks, that we did not get uh, into Europe. I don't know. It hasn't been confirmed that we, we are in. Um, so I cannot confirm if we're not. So that's, that's a bit, bit, bit crappy. Booted long again by Raya. So far, nothing... In this game for Rovers. Some quick change. Oh, Jota's just thrown off the ball there. And it is a free kick. And we are... What are we are these? We are terrible at these. Somebody get their head on it. Crosses by Williams. Weak. Make the Niles. Gets rid of it, and excellent skill by them to get themselves out of a bit of a hole. And we are into the last five minutes of the first half of the first the new season. And oh, that's terrible! That is terrible pass. Jota. Poor control there by Forrest, I believe. Who's not giving up? He's chasing this down. But he's left that right, that right hand side exposed at the moment and while he tracks back. Jota. Doing some good defensive duties. I like to see that. Nil nil at the break. So far, so good. We don't look shabby. We don't look that good going forward. Okay, second half gets underway. Rovers will be kicking this one off. And instantly, we give away possession. Alexander, back to uh, whoever that is. Broken up by Daxter. Turns, come on, forced our shot, son. Have another one. Oh, it hits the woodwork. Against the run of play, perhaps. Asano. Oh, what was that? Who is that? Nyambe, come on, son. You're more experienced than that. Wobi, Mkhitaryan, under a bit of pressure now by Nayambe, Mendy, still with Arsenal, blocked, and it will go out for something, Asano's coming off, Freeman's coming on, and it is a corner for Arsenal, he probably had the best effort, but right now, I'd say that's going to change, because Arsenal are on this, and that is a good, strong header, but a good, strong save. And we are going to boot this because we want to make sure we don't give ourselves anything stupid to deal with. Kovacic. So, Asano, I don't know. Nothing amazing, but he did, it wasn't terrible. Definitely shown quality. He's got pace and he's also got the ability to, to pass the ball. So, that's Digi. Breaks that one up. We've got a runner. We do, but he's blocked. But ref sees it's okay. Mendy. 
see some good football. Oh, a bit of tight pass in there. Even Evander Lisko just gives it away with a terrible, terrible pass. Oh, big fingertip save by Raya there, keeping us in this game. And Forrest is coming off for Madsen. It's another substitution, another debut uh, comes to an end. Head it. Oh, again, fingertips saved by Raya Kippers in this one. <sighs> Flown in there again. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Raya's there this time. And we need to keep our heads. The last 15. Okay, well, we got Madsen. Got some space if he can pick out a pass. He does to Daxter. Just loses the ball at the last dying moment. Keep the opposition at bay. And Dak is coming off for Armstrong. Into the last five minutes now. Can we hang tight? It's not been it's not been one for the uh, for the goals, of course. It's nil-nil. And we've not really offered much, but we've probably had the best effort with that uh, effort against the post. Armstrong trying to keep it busy, but no joy. Here come Arsenal now, looking for themselves to get a winner. Alexander down that right-hand side. Blocked by Freeman. We're just eating into the time here. Got two minutes of injury time to hang tight. Do not be stupid. I take a point all day long against Arsenal. Headed clear. Here we go. Last opportunity, perhaps, for... For Rovers to come up with something, but nope, it's broken down in midfield. Is that the final whistle? Is that a free kick or the final whistle? It is the final whistle. We'll take that. No nil at Arsenal, no problems. So what has that done to the table? Where does that put us after game one? Right smack dab in the middle of the table, right about 15th spot there. Uh, it doesn't look good at the moment, only a couple of spots above the drop zone, but it's a point on the board. In the next episode, we will be taking on Middlesbrough and possibly Liverpool. There might be a League Cup match in between those. But anyway, uh, once again, new season here. So hopefully my, my goals this season are Europe. Obviously, I think we missed out last time by just one spot. So whether it's through the, a cup competition or through league placement, uh, that is the goal. We're trying to get into the old European spots this season. Uh, it is only our second season in the Premier League. But I think we've strengthened and, of course... Um, that result there against Arsenal shows that we should be able to compete with the big boys. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a good old thumbs up. I'll be right back here tomorrow, same time, same place, as we continue the FIFA 19 career mode. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.